Hello and welcome to the video. This is a bit of radio control news because this has just been released. This is the Radio Master Nomad. It's an Express LRS module and actually some receivers and things as well. Um, however, you're probably spotting there's an awful lot of stuff on that receiver and there's two antennas here as well. And you'd normally think, okay, well, that's Gemini. And you know what? I've talked about Gemini before. It's the ability to have kind of dual antennas talking to the receiver at the same time. Lots of other radio manufacturers have had that kind of channel antenna diversity for a long time. However, Gemini has been around for a little while, but this is the first thing that I've had my paws on that's actually Gemini X. This thing here is capable of talking 2.4 and 900 megahertz at the same time to your model. Or actually, you can have both of these things running at 900 megahertz or both of them running at 2.4. It's really up to you. And there are some new modes in ExpressLRS 3.5 that will unlock even more of the goodness. And stay tuned if you are thinking about some of the new stuff that's coming to do with Mavlink encapsulation and transmission as part of Express LRS 3.5 and onwards, then these kind of modules are going to be right up your street. This has just been released today. Uh, so I thought I would give you some news, tell you what it is, and let you know that now Express LRS Gemini X is a thing. So let's take a closer look at the new Nomad system from Radio Master. Again, this is the first one that I've had in here that runs the new Gemini X. Inside here, there are dual third generation Semtech LR1121 transceivers. This allows for both 2.4 gig and both the 868 slash 915 megahertz frequencies using the Gemini crossband protocol. So this is very much the open source express LRS equivalent to some of the TD stuff that FreeSky has been doing for a while. This does allow us to send packets on both bands simultaneously, which reduces the chance of packet loss and issues if you're flying in challenging conditions. Both of these transceivers are 1 watt, which should give really nice range for almost all pilots, and it also has some new interference rejection technology, which should help when you are flying in those tricky places. So the features inside this thing, again, we have twin dual band one watt transceivers in here, ELRS Gemini 2.4 gig, ELRS Gemini 868 on 915 megahertz, and a nice powerful cooling system so that when you're pushing both of those at one watt, it isn't going to get too high. There are some new packet rates available with this system as well. There's a sub gigahertz 250 hertz mode or minus 110 dBm that achieves faster packet rates so enhanced sub gigahertz performance. There's a sub gigahertz 200 full which is optimized for Mavlink. There's going to be more Mavlink stuff coming in the future. I'm going to probably do a video on some of the new MLRS stuff but I think a lot of the stuff that people are going to want is actually going to be coming in Express LRS anyway. Dual band X150 hertz uh, minus 112 dBm. That's Gemini mode, where you can have simultaneous 2.4 gig transmissions, which should give you that double option and a packet rate of about 150 hertz. And there's also dual band X100 hertz, again, minus 112 dBm, and that's enhanced Gemini mode. This achieves the same kind of dual frequency transmission benefits of 100 megahertz packet rate with full 16 channel resolution, meaning you have nice strong connection and all your channels too. There are also two additional modes coming in Express LRS 3.5. One of them is called DK500. This is designed specifically for those people who really like speed and radio control reliability. K modes and the next generation FS key modulation stuff with built in packet repair, which is nice. Things like forward error correction. And it's just like FLRC D500. So DK500, which again is coming in 3.5 of Express LRS, sends repeat packets to reduce the packet loss. And that means that in race environments, for example, you aren't going to have one of those little blips that you have if you're flying behind lots of stuff. And that's obviously helped by the fact that we have dual antennas and potentially dual frequencies too. The other mode that's coming in Express LRS 3.5 is something called K1000. 
guess what that is? That's kind of this new mode, but designed for that 1000 hertz stuff. But that means that you can actually get 1000 hertz in the 868915 megahertz domain. Now, this has really been designed for maximum data throughput when using things like Mavlink. Again, I'll do videos on some of the new stuff coming in Mavlink and Express LRS when it comes out. So don't be fooled by the 1000 hertz. It was tested, I believe, up to 20 kilometers. So if you want super low latency, but super duper range, then you're gonna be good. Now, I just thought I would show you this stuff because Express LRS continues to innovate. I just wish they would drop the whole Channel 5 stuff, desperate for that to disappear, and that would make life a lot easier for those of us that still use S Plus in places occasionally. But Gemini X is a real leap. It does mean that it provides some additional advantages over the standard Gemini, having access to the different protocols at the same time as well individually. Be aware the nano adapter wasn't finished at the time of shipping, so in this review sample that I've been sent and playing with here, it isn't included. It will be a standard thing that you come in the packet if you buy the Nomad now that it's been released. But I do like the fact that this now, if you like the idea of being able to have Express LRS 2.4 and also a 900 megahertz version, you don't have to pick and choose and take two modules to the field. You can actually just use the one. You can either use it with a single frequency or you can choose which band the modules use or both. And it means that for the receiver in the model, you can choose the appropriate packet rate in the Lua script and set everything up nice and easily. So if you have any questions, do pop them down below and I'll do my best to answer on this latest innovation for Express LRS. Very excited for 3.5 to come out. There's some really cool stuff coming in there that will both improve this system by adding those two additional modes, but also start to introduce some of that other Mavlink goodness, which those of us that fly Ardu Pilot will really benefit from too. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Payless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.